Hi guys, it is Friday the 13th. <laughs> um, are you superstitious about that? I never really have been. So work is going well. I didn't expect to actually be at work every day this week. Um, but I have been every day except Monday. I'm glad because I've got some hours clocked already. But it's mostly training, you know. Getting to know what my responsibilities are as um, as the afternoon manager. And um, it's exciting. The, the afternoon really goes quickly. You know, if, you know, the, if the schedule is followed, it goes like that, really. It goes fast. Um, and it's just, it, the people are so wonderful. And I met the pastor yesterday. I was kind of freaked out because I get out of my car and this guy pulls up and he's like, Dreama? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he introduced himself. He's the pastor. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, at first, I was like, who is this weirdo pulling up to me? And how does he know who I am? <laughs> um, I thought maybe at first, oh, this must be somebody that I know. But then, you know, you always feel bad if you don't remember them. Thank God it wasn't that situation. But no, it was it was their pastor. And I've heard so many wonderful things about him already. But this, everybody there is, is so friendly and... Um, I'm looking forward to this evening because I get a chance to hang out with them and with my sister. Um, so, let's see. I'm still trying to get things unpacked. Oh, Andrew, I'm, so, I'm trying so hard to get to my computer so that I can get that set up so he and I can do our our podcast. I'm thinking I might need to use my laptop instead, especially since my room isn't set up. We just want to do a test run right now to make sure everything is working correctly. Um, but I might end up using my laptop for that, Andrew. It might be easier for me to set things up on that. And it honestly, it's probably faster than my desktop computer. So since that's already set up, I'll put Zoom on there. This I'm talking to Andrew. <laughs> I'll put Zoom on there when I get back from work. And um then we can we can work on that this evening. Um yeah, if you're free. Cuz I, I do think my laptop's going to be a better source than my desktop for that. And then you don't have to wait for me you know, to get to my desktop and get it finished setting up. I still have so much left to do. It's, it's, the house is, it's livable, but it, it's not clean. It's not, it's still cluttered. There's still things to put away, closets to still go through, that kind of thing. My kitchen is not really set up the way I want it yet. It's getting there. It's getting there. Got a lot of things put away, but it's, so it's getting there. Um, Things are so different. Things are so different now than they were two weeks ago. And I'm still trying to get used to it. I think one thing that's going to help me, and it is, that is helping me settle in here and feel like it's home, is my routine now of going to work, having something to do. But also as I put things away, you know, learning the house, learning where things are. Um, sorry, there's messages coming through from the app at school um, that have nothing to do with me. I'm strictly after school, but it's good to see, you know, it's, I think, um, because you never know if something will pertain to an after-school student. And I'm trying to learn all their names. And that's going to take time. Because unlike, you know, 
the the children I had in my daycare and this is not a daycare that I work at it's it's a it's a school there are more children and so there's more names to learn and I know all of that comes with time um and I will get it as I get to know the kids and interact with them more. I know that. Um, it's exciting. It, it's very exciting. I'm not sure this is a position I really ever saw myself in. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. And all those, all those certificates, y'all, that I have earned so far and my accreditations through the state, have really paid off with this job. Some of those hours I needed anyways. And so they were, I was able to just send my certificates over to email to them. And so that they're in my folder. And so where I, where I, you know, when I closed my daycare, I thought never going to need to use this stuff again. Let me just throw all this out. And I was looking at it like I did all this for nothing, but it wasn't for nothing. You know, even my having my daycare trained me a lot for this job, honestly. And all that work that I did towards my CDA was not for nothing. I needed that for this job. And now I feel confident in continuing to work from, towards my CDA. And now I'm in an environment where I can be observed to get that final CDA um, um, um associate. So I I feel confident now about continuing with those classes, those lessons. And so that I'll be working on that now, you know, I feel some motivation to continue on with that. So none of that was for nothing. Um and I'm glad I didn't throw that stuff out. Because I almost threw the books away and think I'm never going to need this again. And I was feeling kind of down about it too. Like, I did all this for nothing. But not for nothing. One, I needed those hours anyhow. Um, some of those, they were going to have me do. And I already did them. So there's one I have to redo because it's a new year. There's, it's, they updated it for this year. So I'll just, I just have to redo one. But, um, and... Also, it was a lot of training. It helped me be a better child care provider in my daycare. But all of that, all of my seven years having my own daycare, all of those accreditations that I do have matter here for what I'm doing. And so I'm going to continue to work for, and get my CDA. And um, all of that's going to help. And I can continue with my career I don't foresee myself really ever wanting to work full time again. Um, I don't see that. I like the fact that this is part time, you know. Um, and uh, I just right now I just can't foresee myself wanting to work full time again. Um, I enjoy having my my slow mornings. I enjoy that. I can't get out and get things done if I need to get things done during business hours, you know. Um, and I enjoy knowing that, hey, if I want to stay out late or do something later in the evening, I can because I ain't got to get up early. So all of that makes such a huge difference in my mental and emotional well-being and my physical well-being. Um, so... Um, Y'all, I did have to sew up another pair of my pants today. <laughs> um, I'm, I definitely need more leggings. Um, and I and I I am supposed to dress, you know, like like a manager, you know. But at the same time, I I have to wear clothes that I can move in, you know, and um, so. So those are things I'm going to be asking for for Christmas. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Things are moving along. 
and my mood is improving. You can probably see that. It's still a lot. All of this, it's still a lot. I don't like living in all this clutter and stuff. But little by little, it will get done. So I'm going to get off here now and get some work done. You know, also, I haven't been able to... Sandy spends a lot of time in her room still because I haven't... Until this is all put up, I don't feel comfortable just letting her run the house. And even when I'm, when I'm at work, I'm not going to feel comfortable just letting her run the house. So... Not that she won't tear anything up, but she'll get on the furniture, and that's, yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I, I miss the kids. I do miss my kiddos. Um, and that that is hard when I start thinking about them. But, and it, it is hard sometimes being with the other children. I, I start thinking about mine, you know. Once Nana's tots, always a Nana's tots. And uh, there's this there's this one little girl that just immediately took to me, and I got a little bit choked up. Um, because it just made me miss. My own daycare kiddo so much. But I feel like God has me where I'm supposed to be. This job was just meant to be mine. Like I said, I, I was drawn to it immediately, even before I moved. And I've been really kind of fighting for this job since before I moved. You know, to get in touch with them, to, you know, and everything. But from the moment I first interviewed, there was an excitement, you know, about it that I've never had with any other job in my life, besides my own, my daycare. And I'm very happy to be where I am, and I thank God that he put me there. And I know there's a reason he put me there. So, I'm going to try my best. I don't want to let the director down, So, and I don't want to let the staff down. I want to be the manager that they need, you know, and someone they can depend on. I'm going to get off of here, guys, and get some things done before work. God bless you. Thanks for putting up with just the way the videos are right now. I'll get everything back to normal real soon. God bless.